Hello everyone, my name is Ping Hua and I'm the founder and director of Chinese Art Southampton. Today I'm going to introduce uh, two Chinese traditional instruments. Uh, one is called Pi Pa, the other one is called Er Hu. First of all, I would like to introduce the Pi Pa. So I got the instrument with me, I'm going to take it. So this is the P part in Chinese. It's four string lute. And the P part appeared in Chinese written text in second century BC. So it's over um, 2000, over 2000 years of history. So original form of the P part is not like a straight head. It's like a crop, the bended uh, head with a very slim neck and a much large bottom. It is a shape, shape of the pear. Original one have uh, like uh, four or five strings, but only have four or five uh, threads. So this is a modern one. So compared to original one, original ones play like horizontally. So play like this, and with a big, large wooden Spectrum, a fraction, you have to play like this. And uh, in time, time dynasty, it's, it's the peak time for the pipa. The pipa is quite uh, uh, famous. At that time, it's peak time. Most of the pipa play in a tone, you know, as a superior, uh, like a uh, in, um, empress uh, courtyard, etc. It's normal, popular. Uh, pop Normal public uh, people actually won't be able to get access to the instrument. But more than pea part, shaped like this, it's uh, been through a uh, huge uh, uh, reform of the pea part. So currently, the, the modern one, you have a 23 frets, which made of bamboo, and a six of uh, this special freight called in, in xiang. It's made, sometimes made with the wood, or jade, a different uh, material. So most important reform for the pipa is uh, from horizontal to the vertical. So you liberate your left hand, so your left hand can freely move up and down before you have to hold this, you know. So this is uh, quite important. And the other uh, technique is uh, you, your right hand, before you use a plectrum, you, you only do you know, P pa, the why it's called P pa, P going straight up, pa going back. That's called the P pa. But to now, use a finger, five fingers, and with a, you know, imitate like a nail, like a plastic, uh, plastic nails. So you can play, combine, uh, combine lots of a technique. You use a, a right hand. It's come up for like over 60 different uh, techniques, this different way to uh, play the uh, pipa. Pipa is the most important instrument, pluck instrument in Chinese orchestra. It's a leading instrument and uh, can uh, express very well. And originally uh, the string is a silk string. Now it's changed to a new form of strings or uh, uh, like a guitar. It's like a, a stainless steel with a uh, uh, sometimes with a nylon coated outside, so the first string. Uh, the tune is A D A D E A. Strike out of tune. Okay. Um, so normally you need to learn when you're quite young because that's more easily to pick up the, the skill. I would like to introduce my student to a demonstration to play one piece uh, for you. The piece called uh, Flower Festival. Tell you.
Now I'm going to introduce a, a second instrument. Um, it's called the Arhu in Chinese. It's a, it's a Chinese violin or a, a Chinese uh, fiddle. There's two stream. So um, Arhu has about 1,000 years of history. It, it, it's a shorter history than uh, Pipa. Uh, so originally, you're yeah, back to like a, a thousand years of time. It's called the Arhu. Ar means two in Chinese because it's the main two strings. Hu is a uh, hu, actually, is a people. Hu people. Um, when Chinese, the, uh, I think the majority of Chinese are Han. So when Chinese, the Han people call other ethnic minority, they call Hu people. So the Hu people is a uh, nomad from northern part of China. So most of them, they play this, uh, you know, during their, actually most of the time they spend the, the time on back of the horse. So the structure, more or less similar to this one, but this is much fine now, it's a modern one. So the structure is, uh, has a, a neck with a head. Uh, this is the pick to actually hold a two string. So with a sound box, so then the bow, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, actually um, horse tail hair, is uh, sandwiched actually between the two strings, so it won't lose. Because of the Hu people, the most, actually the Norman people, they actually most of the time spare on the back of the horse. So when you play, if you drop, you don't need to you know, jump down to pick up your bow, so it's actually connect each other. So this is uh, the Arhu. But originally, uh, the string, the silk, now it's again, it's a steel. So you have a fine tune here, you have the bridge. Um, so in Chinese orchestra, the arc is now is very important. It's like similar to a Western orchestra, like a violin. So the function equivalent uh, to the violin. Yes, the arc, it's like, a, um, there's a family, but this is a, the standard one. But similar to the a Western instrument, Western instrument is for example violin. We have a viola, we have a cello. For arhu also, they have different. Uh, uh, the the basic principle are the same, but the shape are slightly different. For example, for the Peking opera, we play the called the opera hu qing hu. The same thing I'm talking about. So it's much smaller. It's a high pitch. It's very very uh, loud. And uh, I think uh, we have a clip on our, you know, celebration. Uh, we'll perform that one. Um, for the cello, for example, equipment to cello, there's a called uh, another bigger, bigger. Uh, the sound box is much bigger, and it's a, it's a quite low bass. Play like a bass instrument, and uh, similar to um, cello, so Western instrument. So Arhu. Uh, originally, actually, it's very simple, basic uh, instrument, but through a bigger reform, I think the revolutionary change in the shape is by a master, arhu master called uh, Liu Tianhua, and he is a very, very uh, famous uh, arhu because he had a lot of uh, composed a lot of uh, arhu uh, repertoire, and uh, he completely bring the new technique. For example, uh, the the bring the vibrato. So when you play the instrument, he bring the vibrato technique and a lot of other technique. Uh, uh, for example, when you play, so play the scale. That's it. The original just play based on this one. Uh, you play instrument. But uh, Liu Tianhua, Mr. Liu Tianhua, he actually uh, bring the play the different uh, uh, position, the scale. Uh, for that, I will uh, later ask my student to, to demonstrate that. And uh, well, for Arhu in China, I think uh, uh, three instrument Arhu is the most important. So when you see the the orchestra, a lot of people play Arhu, uh, similar to the Western instrument. A lot of people play violin, and this instrument, uh, because it is quite close to the human voice. So originally the the skin is, uh, uh, I think, the panther, like a big snake, the skin. But now they have a, a, 
a man-made one, a synthesite, actually, uh, it's a man-made scheme. Um, I like this instrument because it can express yourself very um, uh, precisely. For example, you're happy, you can play a happy song. If you're sad, it's called, uh, you know, you can play a very sad song. Like when you cry, you can emit the crying sound as well. Now, I think uh, I talked uh, already too much. I would like to invite my student, Mia. She's going to demonstrate um, the scale and play a few simple songs. So Mia only started to learn quite recently, not long. So she can give you some taste of how our who sounds. ask Mia to play another piece, it's a uh, skating waltz, right, thank you. 